Sunny. I'm Brooke Cantrina, the outside Minecraft Let's Play video. Today we are going to be learning about the micro bit and how to code stuff on it. My name's Stuart. How are you all? Okay? Yeah. yeah. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you something. It's not Minecraft. I'm going to show you something that no other children in primary schools at the moment can get. So it's super, 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 super brilliant. I look after programming, things like Kodu. I also look after a little program that not many of you might know called Minecraft. <laughs> And this is how I know your school, because I met Solly at Minecon. And Solly and I got talking, and he's done some jobs for me. And I, I said to him, why don't I come to your school, Solly, and talk about some of the stuff that he's seen me do, and see if you like it. So one of the things I thought we could do is have a look at the BBC microbit. So how many of you have seen this on the te television? You have. Tell us about it. It's like a pocket mini the computer in your pocket. Best description I've ever heard. It's like a mini computer here. Now the thing with this computer is it will not work unless you, you, and you, and you, and you, and you tell it what to do. You know if you have to write something on in a book and you have to write a long list of words that meant something and they start with a capital letter and end with a full stop, we call that a sentence. If you're a computer, we don't call it a sentence, we call it a string. Uh-huh. That's a bit odd, isn't it? Well, when you think about it, a string is a long line of something. I'm going to take my mouse, hold it over my block, I click with the left, and drag it into the middle of my screen. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. Okay, that's your first job. Can you see the run button? So in, in a computer program, we don't turn it on, we don't make it go, we run it. Big run, see what happens. Hey, come on, let's be, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Do you want yours to say, Stuart? No! So put your name in it. something about yourself, so something you like, or just something funny about yourself. So this is what I want. Rafi Gomez was the Spurs. That club, Manchester United. Manchester United is rubbish. So Fiona loves cake. And Nina's favourite teacher is Fiona. <laughs> Sammy is the best thing that works. Mahi likes games. Microwave. We've got to turn this piece of code into a piece of code that the computer understands. This isn't the language that the computer reads. Does anybody know, on only hands, what the language of a computer reads? A binary code. A binary code. Fantastic. Well done, young man. Which is made up of? Zeros and ones. A computer can only count to a zero on one. Hello. Here's the word compile, which means translate. Click it once, and there you will see your code. But it's still on the compute. This computer, isn't it? We've got to get it off here. Okay. Now, do you want to see what that code looks like? Yeah. This is what the computer sees. Got it? And scroll down for her, down here. Look how long it is. Go on, scroll down, keep going. So those two lines of code to the computer look like that. What? Oh, it's going to be on forever. No, he still hasn't gone. So just imagine how much 
of your code for a game like Minecraft. It must be phenomenal. You've been given your USB cable. Get the small one and plug it into your microbit. Plug your microbit in. Showing a little square. When I shake it, showing a different type of square. And if I shake it again, tell me when it looks like a pair of scissors. There. So what Sammy's got on his computer is playing rock, paper, scissors. Come on in, Sammy, on three. Rock, paper, scissors. Do you want to play it? Ready? So at the moment we're showing paper. Ready? One, two, three. Scissors beats paper. Let's get a birthday message to the Queen on your micro Queen Elizabeth. What's his name, Raphael? Happy birthday, Queen. So on the news, um, micro bit, and it was like. Oh, that's one thing that's interesting. The only thing that's interesting on the news. So then I typed the uh, BBC micro bit, and I was like watching videos, and I was seeing how the micro bit works, and it was just amazing. And it was it was like a dream come true when I met a real micro bit. It was the exciting part because how you could um, put the words onto the micro bit from from the computer, and you could use a battery and take it anywhere, and it would still work. I don't find brain exploding because um, I found it really interesting and I just wanted to let it all out. Yeah. <laughs> when the children code and they have the freedom to code, they just love it. So it's really important that we have people like Stuart in school and I'd love him to come in more. So we had a great day learning about the microbit and we had a nice day getting you to meet my friends, for example Raphael, Harris, Liam and everybody in this school. Thank you to Stuart especially for letting us have this chance to be learning about the microbit. Until then guys, I'll see you later.